last two videos we saw that we with a little bit of modification we can get windows 11 the leaked version onto older hardware well how about hardware that's a little bit newer but a little older let's check it out so when i took to my twitter yesterday i noticed tpm 2.0 was trending and boy was it trending now we're going to try this system which is from 2015 and in it is a i3 processor has six gigabytes of memory i put in a ssd and it has a 500 gigabyte hard drive so not you know like a hugely powerful system but this system does have something that most systems don't. Now on the back we have a display port, a VGA port, two USB 1s, two USB 3s, two more USB 1s, one gigabit Ethernet, your headphone or your, your speaker out and your microphone in and where you hook up your power supply and a reset button. So let's see what we can do. First thing we need to do is start Rufus. And it's a free program you can just get over the internet. And we are going to select our leaked Windows 11 ISO, hit open. And we're just gonna leave everything alone. We don't need to touch anything. Now this is going to take a while, so we're going to go ahead and skip through a couple of parts of it. But here it is, starting and finishing up. Next what we need to do is close it up and put it into our system. Now we're going to have to go into BIOS and select UEFI. And next what we need to do is go to security, open that up, and enable our TPM. And we're gonna go ahead and hit activate. I'm just going to leave these two options blank and just leave the other two checked. And we'll go ahead and apply the changes. So now we can do our first boot. We'll have our Dell logo screen. We're going to skip ahead a little bit. And there it starts. Windows. And hit the install now. Setup is starting. So I, I'm trying to just leave this at near real time. Just to show you, you know, this is real. Accept the agreement. And we're going to go ahead and wipe out this boot drive and as you see the other one already has just it's already been wiped out unallocated space so select the SSD which is what that drive is and it's going to begin the process Now in this part, we are going to go ahead and skip ahead. It's going to install the updates. And now is the time you pull the USB drive out of the computer.
Now it's rebooting. And we have our Dell logo and our little spinning dot. And here's here's my little gripe about this is is TPM really needed for consumer hardware to be able to run the latest operating system? I mean, as you saw in the one image, a price for a TPM module jumped to a hundred dollars per unit. But here we go. Here's our Microsoft logo and United States. Keyboard is US. No additional keyboards. Skip. Checking for updates so it's going to do its thing. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Now we're just going to set this up for home use. Next. And we're going to sign in with the Microsoft Outlook Express account. Enter the password. Then it's going to go out to Microsoft. We're going to create a pin for this system and go ahead and type it twice. Now, Microsoft actually did identify this system as being one of the systems that I had Windows 10 on, but I'm just going to set this up as being a new device. Turn everything off so that the system is more private. Hopefully it's more private anyway. And here I'm just going to skip this. Because it's just a general desktop system. I don't want uh, OneDrive, so we're going to store everything locally. Checking for more updates. And then it goes forward. Since this is going to take a few minutes, we're going to go ahead and skip ahead. Now we're almost done at this point. Almost there. And there we are. No modifications. The leaked version of Windows 11 on a system from 2015. Grant, this the system is generally used in business, which is probably why it included a TPM but we're going to go ahead and complete the setup which this is just, I don't get why they do this because it's really the same set of questions except for the phone 
no, I don't want one drive. I don't have Microsoft 365. All done! So now we have the new icons on the top. Of course, there's always going to be updates and we're also going to make sure that we have all the drivers that we need. So we're going to get, have Windows 11. Go ahead and get those as well. So now, after the reboot, took the about. This is the system with the i3 processor. It's two core, two threads, so total of four logical cores at 3.5 gigahertz. Not a beast of a system by today's standard, but it's running Windows 11 and it's using the built-in graphics. I don't have a graphics card in this system. And just to show you, here's the performance. And we'll go with logical cores. There they are now two cores, two threads, total of four logical cores. And just built-in graphics. Nothing special. And it runs it just fine. So let's take a look at the control panel, because it's still there because there is a drive that I had unallocated space. So what we're gonna to need to do is make it available to the system to use. Now, instead of it being administrative tools, it's now Windows tools. Under control panel, click the storage, the disk management snap-in, go ahead, right click simple drive just follow the prompts I'm going to change the name of this just to be storage hit next finish and there it is and now it's available and it's already asking me what I want to do with this drive so just close that out close all these out and just to show you you know, it is available now. Let's open the File Explorer, the new File Explorer, and there's the two drives. And the system is done. It's ready to go. And go ahead and shut this baby down. But this is the reason that we were able to install it. It still worked. It's still installed without a problem, without an issue. So maybe there's some flexibility with Microsoft in its new operating system. Maybe they'll take out the requirement. Frankly, from my point of view, I don't see that it's needed. It runs fine on very old hardware, which is not TPM compatible. So why for secure boot, this, that, and the other thing? Regular people don't really get malware. By and large, they don't. I don't see the real need for it. But that's my opinion, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!